Hey Digifans, welcome back to yet another video tutorial taking you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now this video is all, is all about, what's it all about? I've no idea what's it all about. Oh yeah, this one's about lunch and learn. This is where we use Adobe Spark video to work out how to make some like, like a tasty lunch or a delicious breakfast or an amazing dinner and you're going to put those steps together into your very own cooking video. Lunch and learn people. Now if you're on a tablet or a phone download Adobe Spark video for free. If you're on a laptop or desktop just go to spark.adobe.com. Okay let's get going. So we want to create a project. It's going to be a video. Give it a title, lunch and learn. And here we go. I'm going to put a title in and make it quite big. And then I'm going to also going to add a photo to the background. Find free photos. Uh, and I'm going to put cook. Uh, let's try this one. This one right here. Quite like it around about there. That looks good to me. And we're going to record my first bit of voiceover. Welcome to Lunch and Learn with me, Digidom. In today's show, I'm going to show you how to make a mouth-watering fish finger sandwich. You'll be the envy of all your friends and family. Now, you can call it whatever you like. You don't have to call it lunch and learn. We've got our introduction. I'm going to go straight on to step one. Now, I have got a video here that I want to use. First video is this one. Now, as soon as we get in here, it gives you this little editor. And this is where you can make this as long or as short as you like. 13 seconds. That looks around. You can see how long it is. That looks about right. Now that I've got my clip in place, here I'm going to turn it on to mute uh, because I'm going to do a voiceover at the top. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in slightly. There we go. Maybe I'm going to put text on there. This time I'll do it as a caption, actually. So I'll pop it down there and I'll put just put step one. Uh, and I'm going to record my voiceover. Place the fish fingers carefully on an oven grill before transferring them to the oven using an oven glove. Safety first, people. Have a look at mine. Nice. Uh, now I'm going to add in another slide. Just going to click here. We're going to go on to step two. I might make this a split screen. This one will be step two. Oh, there we go. Uh, 15 minutes at... 200 degrees centigrade. Okay, that looks great to me. Uh, and let me explain it in my voiceover. Step two, leave them in the oven for 15 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. That'll get them all warm and crispy. Nice. Now over this side, I'm gonna put a photo in. So I'm gonna find an oven on here. Right, new slide in, step three, step three uh change it into a caption great okay add some video in this is the worst piece of filming i think i've ever done put it down let's see what i've got here putting the bread in pressing it down okay that's look that looks like a good section of the clip to use now it's time to add our voiceover while the fish fingers are cooking toast your bread don't do it too early though, because it's nice to eat when it's warm and, well, toasty. Check the clip. While the fish fingers are cooking, toast your bread. Don't do it too early though, because it's nice to eat when it's warm and, well, toasty. Cool. Uh, add another slide in. Time to go split screen again. Step four, add mayonnaise, add rocket. Make it a little bit bigger, add in some video here. Okay, now I want to make sure that it's got me putting some mayonnaise on and also putting on some rockets. Bring it down slightly, add some rocket. Okay, again, I'm going to mute that clip so there's no sound getting in the way. We've got 23 seconds here. That's how long the clip is. I'm going to record my voiceover now. Add mayonnaise to your toast before adding a generous serving of rocket. If you don't like mayonnaise and you don't like rocket, that's fine. Choose whatever you like. 
You could put tomato sauce on there. You could put a little bit of cheese on there. You could even put salad cream or a banana, whatever you want to make it interesting. It's up to you. Finally, let's go to step five. Step five, make it a bit bigger. Add in some video. I've got one here. I'll make it about six, five seconds long. That'll do. Now that you've got your caption in there, just time to record the step five voiceover. Finally, step five, slice that bad boy. Look after your fingers. And then I've just got this little video that I want to put in at the end. Okay, I think that's what I want. I'm going to turn the sound off and then just do a little voiceover for us. Thanks for watching Lunch and Learn. The only thing left to do is to sit back, relax, and film yourself eating the tasty morsel looking like a cow using the slow motion function on your phone. Results. And there we have it. There's your Lunch and Learn video. Let's have a little watch. Welcome to Lunch and Learn with me, Digidon. In today's show, I'm going to show you how to make a mouth-watering fish finger sandwich. You'll be the envy of all your friends and family. Place the fish fingers carefully on an oven grill before transferring them to the oven using an oven glove. Safety first, people. Have a look at mine. Nice. Step two. Leave them in the oven for 15 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. That'll get them all warm and crispy. While the fish fingers are cooking, toast your bread. Don't do it too early though, because it's nice to eat when it's warm and, well, toasty. Add mayonnaise to your toast before adding a generous serving of rocket. If you don't like mayonnaise and you don't like rocket, that's fine. Choose whatever you like. You could put tomato sauce on there, you could put a little bit of cheese on there. You could even put salad cream or a banana. Whatever you want to make it interesting. It's up to you. Finally, step five, slice that bad boy. Look after your fingers. Thanks for watching Lunch and Learn. The only thing left to do is to sit back, relax, and film yourself eating a tasty morsel looking like a cow using the slow motion function on your phone. Results. I hope you enjoyed that video, Digi fans. I hope you also had a beautiful snack or feast even uh, and put it all together using Adobe Spark video. So please do share your tasty morsels with me using hashtag DigiDom. Find me on the socials, uh, Dom underscore trainer, so we can share each other's food. Uh share each other's food with each other. I can give you digital round of applauses and yeah, just like have fun and stuff. Cool. So yeah, subscribe to these videos if you want to get them as soon as they come out. And apart from that, where am I going to see you? On the next video. That's correct. Well done. Mm -hmm.